Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dog. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again with those collage masterboards that we did where we incorporated the playing cards. And what I've done, I've stitched in random places. I know that I did say on the video where we made them that I was going to hopefully try and stitch some. Um, so this one, I've gone round the edge with a um, zigzag stitch. <laughs> I mean, wonky or what, just, I don't uh, know what goes on with me in the sewing machine, but clearly, yeah, not um, really kind of a great match, me in the sewing machine, but it's fine because once these are cut down, it's it's all going to be fine. Um, so that's what I did with that. And then just some random zigzag stitching, you know, in random places on there. And then on the other one, I did exactly the same, i.e. the random zigzag stitching, um, across it and then I went around the edge with a straight stitch now again yes look at that wonky stitching I mean seriously what is going on with my stitching um, <laughs> this edge is perfectly straight it's fine oh actually it's not perfectly straight no it's gone off the edge but that's all fine so yeah I just want to kind of um, you know show you kind of how they look before we cut them up so this one yes I'm going to probably try and hoard this now because I just love how this looks so much it's my favorite one uh, so yes, let's put that behind me. I've tucked it down a gap now behind my desk and uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking I'll probably even forget it's there and it'll be months and months before I even remember it's there. Okay, so we've got this one. Now, I am debating, do we want to do like a cluttered collage with this? Um, you know, just putting random bits and bobs on this. Or do we want to cut it into pieces? So I'll just show you the bits that I've brought along with me. And then, you know, we can kind of have a look. I've also got, oh, down beside me, I've also got like a whole bunch of fussy cut pieces. So let's kind of have a look and see how it would look, you know, with each of those kind of bits. So for instance, here, I've got this house. Now this is obviously from a book. I'm just going to ink this up so it's not, you know, not quite such bright white. I mean, it's not really white, but you know, uh, ivory colour. So um, I'll just ink that up a bit. Okay. And I'm not too worried. I know I've made a terrible job, but I'm thinking I'm going to actually cut it out in the shape of the house. So I'm going to get rid of this building to the side. Oh my goodness. Time to put my glasses on for this one. Definitely, definitely. Okay. So, yep. Like that. In there. Around here. Thank heavens, this is quite a straightforward looking building. I obviously wouldn't be doing this if it was a really fancy like castle or something. But yeah, this is pretty straightforward, so it's all fine. Okay. And then just cut this down here. Okay, now I'm wondering what to do at the bottom. Do I cut it? Let's tear that off there. Do I cut it? and it would have a straight appearance, or do I want to tear it? I think I want to cut it, actually. Yeah, it's gonna look a bit odd if I tear it, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, let's just use this as a guide and just cut that down across there. Okay, right. So let's see how this one would look on the page. Oh, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? Right, okay. I also had these ones of children from another book. I'm so sorry, I'm just drinking my tea here at the same time. Um, they're not the clearest pictures, it's got to be said. I mean, they're from a book, but you know, old pictures, I mean, sometimes they're not that clear, are they? <clears throat> so I'm kind of having that feeling with these, really, thinking they're not not the clearest of pictures let's just cut the hair out for a minute just kind of trying to get a bit of a glimpse as to you know what would I be doing with her uh, just drink my tea um yeah I mean I could tear around her Obviously, I probably want to make her smaller or I could cut around her. I'm not sure how brilliant I would uh, do at cutting her, it's got to be said. Shall I have a go? Let's have a go and see. 
I'm just really kind of trying out things at the moment just tr to make a decision, you know, whether to clutter collage or whether to cut it into pieces to make ephemera pieces. So let's just try this one out. And, you know, this is just like a sort of quick method, I think, of, you know, gauging what you're going to be most happy with. You know, are you going to want to oops, cut it out and have individual ephemera pieces or would you be more happy with it? I've not made a very good job of her feet. I mean, they were obviously against that unit and so you couldn't really tell where her feet actually ended and where the unit began. So they're a bit weirdly shaped now, but oh my goodness, let's just be careful. Otherwise I'm going to do the same with her hair and she'll have just like one long sort of plait bit and one just non-existent kind of plait. There we go. There we go. Okay, so she's not too, too bad, is she? The only thing is I wonder whether she's a little bit big. Okay, you'll be pleased to know I've finished my tea now. Um, I've got my umbrellas. Let's try this red one. I have actually got some umbrellas that are ready cut. And for some reason, oops, for some reason I can just never remember where I've put them. So, yeah, let's just cut this down. Oh, it's so muggy today. I'm just going to put a disclaimer out here because, um, and I know I say this all the time, I film ahead. So if it's, who knows, could even be winter by the time that this video actually gets uploaded. Um, you know, because videos do get shifted around in the order that they go up in because it's always kind of like, you know, there seems to be a natural logical sequence to putting them up. So yeah, if it's actually even winter now and I'm sat here going, oh, it's, it's really muggy. Honestly, it is really muggy today. <laughs> As I'm filming this, it is in fact really muggy. Yeah, I'm not lying. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, I mean, she's quite cute, isn't she? With that umbrella. Yeah, she is quite cute with that umbrella. Now, let's just try as an alternative, seeing what some fussy cut pieces could look like on here to do like a cluttered, a cluttered collage. I mean, the thing is, I, you know, I don't necessarily have a preference, really. I like the cluttered collage and I also like the, you know, the free formed, um, you know, cut ephemera pieces. I don't know quite how to describe it, but yeah. I'm not sure that I actually have a preference. I think they're both really nice. Mm. Oh, I wish that I could hear you guys and you could tell me which you prefer, which you think is going to be more suited to this. Do we think the cluttered collage or do we think the bits and pieces? I mean, the problem is I could just kind of go for her or go for those um, book pieces and think, oh, well, I could always clutter it afterwards. The problem is she's obviously going to be quite big. And so when I come to cut it down, I don't want to have like, say, you know, this section of her, for instance, on a piece, because that's just going to look ridiculous. Um, so from that point of view, I'd rather kind of like make a plan and think, yeah, I'm going to, you know, clutter it up or, you know, not clutter it up. Um, Oh, that's such a tough decision. If only I could hear you. If only I could hear you. It would make things so much easier. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Ah! Do you know, I'm almost wondering, shall we cut it and do like half as a cluttered one and half as ephemera pieces? And that way I've got to compromise, haven't I? So should we do that? I know that sounds like strange, but you know, because I can't decide, I'm thinking, you know, maybe this would be a good, a good compromise. Now, she probably is going to have to go on a, a tall one rather than, yeah. So now I'm thinking, right, just need to concentrate on how I'm cutting this. So for instance here, I could cut it down here. 
whoops, roughly along this line. There, for example. And it would be cut there. And then let's just see. Oh, that house is now quite big on there, isn't it? Hmm. Do you know, I'm thinking cut this, yeah. So I'm going to cut it here, across here, and then cut that into half. So let's do that as our starting point. So let's just get rid of all those bits for a minute. So I said through the number 10, didn't I? Yeah. Like that. And just fractionally onto here. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this in half. Like that. Okay. Looking good. Right, let's just neaten this edge up because I did not make a very good job of cutting that. Okay, and, and there. Right. Now, obviously, I can always take this to the sewing machine and stitch around the edge, can't I? So, yeah, I might choose to do that. Okay, right. Now, what to do with this bit down here now? is the question because obviously it's not really going to be big enough like that and it's not particularly great like that either unless I do corner hmm. well do you know I'm thinking because we want to keep this really like as one piece don't we to do like a cluttered collage so I'm just going to cut this down here Oops. didn't do a very good job of that one either and then I'm just going to cut this in half and then this could be the journal cards or um, you know little pockets like that okay okay right so yeah we've done a compromise we are cluttering up this section and we are going with the book page stuff for this section so oh, I've never done that before it just really was born out of, you know, I couldn't decide for the life of me. And so I had to then go with it both. Oh, do you know, I can't remember which was which. I think she was going to go on there. She was going to have some umbrella. Yeah. Okay. Liking that. So I might just ink her up a little bit because, again, she's a little bit on the white side from being in that book. So let's just ink her up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, she looks straight away better, doesn't she? Straight away benefits from being yellowed up a little bit. Now, the umbrella, I think can have there. Now, just wondering. Maybe something like that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Um, I'll just put out a few more bits from here. Oops, what's this one? Oh, okay. Right, okay. Put that down. Uh, also got a label which you could use. Yeah, because this has got just that tiny bit of blue in the corner, or on the side. Um, so I just wonder whether we could incorporate a bit of blue on there. We'll see. Okay. Okie dokie, right, where do we want this? There, or do we want it down the bottom? Mm. Oops. <clears throat> oh, I can't decide, I can't decide. 
to be honest, it's just, you know, it, if, to me, all of this looks good. Wherever I put it, everything's kind of like, oh, it all, it all looks good. It all goes everywhere. So sometimes I find that throws you more. You know, you prefer to actually have a proper conscious decision, wouldn't you? Right, I'm going to put this one down here. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to just wet glue this down. Come on, wet glue. Don't let me down now. Oh, what is going on? This is not the first video I've done today, so I don't know why my glue is protesting. It has been used previously today already. Okay. Just going to leave it with the pin in there, I think. Right. Just going to put that there, like that. Okay. Looking good. Right. She is now going to be stuck down. And of course, she's just flimsy book page, so definitely, definitely won't be using, uh, you know, hot glue or anything, because it would all kind of make her very lumpy. So, oh, no. Oh, I am dropping everything. What is wrong with me today? Another one of those clumsy days. So sorry. <clears throat> Okay, she looks good on there, doesn't she? And then the umbrella. Oh, I wonder if I can move her down slightly. Oh, not really without tearing her, I think. So, yeah, she'll have to be like that. And then the umbrella's just going to overhang slightly. Like that. That's okay. Right. Put the umbrella down. Now I'm hot gluing the umbrella just because it's quick and easy. Okay. Yep. Oh, how cute does she look? She looks gorgeous, doesn't she? And then Obviously, I knocked that flower on the floor, so let's just see whether I've got anything else. Ooh. I'm doing these mad things lately, you know, kind of just like incorporating things that do not belong on there at all. But there's something really, really, really fun about doing that. It's, um, yeah, it's just, <laughs> just really quite exciting to do that. Because, hey, who needs to, um, you know, abide by rules? Not that there are any rules in Junction, then, as we know. You know, it's just all free, all free and easy. But even at the mere mention of rules, I find that just, oh no, we don't want that. <clears throat> um, hmm. Hmm. I know that's very bright, but you know, like she's got a lot of bright things going on, hasn't she? I'm going to have to now get off my chair and bend down and pick up that flower that I just dropped, aren't I? Because oh, I can't now rest until I've double tried it. There we go. Right. Oh, it did look good, didn't it? Yep, it did look good. So it was worth, was worth the effort getting off my chair. Do we prefer her with the blue or without the blue? I mean, the blue definitely has a kind of like, wow, doesn't it, to it? So I think I might actually go with the blue. I mean, it doesn't really go on there. You know, let's be honest, it doesn't really go, but there's something really, um, you know, ta -da, about it, isn't there? Which, that's lovely. <laughs> so let's just glue this down. Okay. <clears throat> yeah and have that flower kind of over to the side a bit. So, love how that looks. Now, do we want any lace is the question, because, I mean, obviously I love having lace on things. So, if we have an opportunity to put some lace, then I don't want to miss out. You know, miss the opportunity to include some lace. Oh gosh, no. I just, I saw this navy blue and I thought, oh, that might just look, you know, might just look good. 
it looked awful but you know like with all these things you've got to sometimes just try it haven't you to get it out of your system and know for definite that nope that that looks rubbish do not put that on there because otherwise you just wonder all the time don't you uh i'm just having a quick rummage in my bag to see if i've got anything in there no not in that bag let me have a quick rummage in my other bag this is my bag that i take to my mum's house and um yeah, I've been at my mum's at the weekend, so just wondering whether I have anything in there. No, can't see anything. Okay, hold on. Oh, right. This is my favourite lace at the moment. Um, it just seems to go on everything. It just goes everywhere. Everywhere you put it, it looks good. Right. <clears throat> Let's just trim this down. Do you know, I'm actually thinking maybe no lace is required, which we don't very often hear me think that, do we? But yeah, I don't actually think maybe it needs lace at all. Let's just try that. Oh, perhaps we'll put a bit of lace on there, yeah. I thought, well, that can't be right. I can't be surely thinking no lace at all. Because that would just be strange, wouldn't it? Okay. Just do that. Yeah. So I think like that. So again, just going to hot glue this down. And then that's just going to hold that lace in place. Like a double, you know, double purpose there. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? Love how that looks. That's so pretty. Also got some wax seals. I don't think I can probably cram anything else on here, but hey, let's have a look and see. See if we can just squish one of these on. I don't think they're really the right colour anyway, so uh, as it happens, I don't think... I don't think I've got the right one, and... To be honest, that's probably just a step too far anyway. So, yeah, I think we'll leave that without the wax seal. Okay, love how that looks though. So I may stitch around the edge of this um, on the sewing machine just with a straight stitch. Don't necessarily think it needs it, but yeah, could do that. So that's that one. Right, let's have a look and see. Where did I put that house that I tore out? Cut out even. <clears throat> okay, right. Now, mm. thinking the house needs to come off to the side, maybe. Let's just check. We could have it on there. I mean, it is, it is quite big, isn't it? Um, Yeah, I think probably somewhere like this and then just snip it down so as we have half of it. Now, do I want to get rid of that bottom bit? Because then it's not so big at all, is it? By now, I feel like it's a little bit too small, a bit insignificant looking. So, yeah, perhaps I'll keep that on there. Right, let's have a look and see what else we can have with the, with the house. I mean, that's very strange, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know really why I picked that up, but it was just there and I thought, well, let's just see because it might have a weird, you know, wild way of looking good. Mm, that's quite nice. Yeah, I quite like that. Let's just see what butterflies I've got here. Mm, not the right colour. <clears throat> I mean, I could see it wasn't the right colour, but, you know, when you just think, oh, it might, might sort of weirdly look okay. Because sometimes, you know, the things you least expect are the things that actually look really good. So it's always worth trying. Always worth trying. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? So I might go for this. So I'm just going to put this down. 
And this label, it's brilliant because it's just going to tie in that colour from up there. <clears throat> okay. Whoops. Oh my goodness, come on. Like that. Okay, and then the house. So, like I say, we want to kind of like chop some of that house off. Like that. And then just press, oops, press that down. Okay, right, let's get rid of that house now. <clears throat> oh, I love how that looks. Isn't that lovely? So we just kind of cut the house in half, you know, a bit like we do when we put the labels on and we just cut them in half. That was kind of where we were at with that. So let's just see, see if we want any lace down here. I was looking at that butterfly, wasn't I? Oh, how about like that? That's quite pretty. Okay, so, oh, actually, just before I do that, let's just see. What do we think to that? That's quite nice, isn't it? I'm just going to see what other, what other colour, uh, you know, wax seals I've got. Mm, it's a bit colourless. Got a dark one. Mm. Oh, I can't decide now. Thinking this one because this picks up this green from here. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, let's go for that before I change my mind. Okay. Pop that butterfly down. Oh, how good does that look? Yeah, I love how that looks. Okay. <clears throat> right, let me just see. How long have I been filming for? I can't really see. I think it might say 27 minutes. 27 minutes. So should we do one more of these? And then we'll probably have to come back whoops, in a se separate video and um, clutter collage the other one. So yeah, let's do this one. Let's have a look and see what book pieces we've got left. And again, she's not particularly clear. You know, some of these old photos, they really are not very clear at all. Um, okay. oh. oh my goodness. I mean, isn't that just the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful house? <gasps> it's lovely, isn't it? Right, okay. And this one... Mm, again, it's probably quite large to have on there. I think we'll have to go for one of the children. Let me just cut this out and see. Because, you know, you really can't tell sometimes until you've actually cut it out and kind of held it on there. Okay. These are house sketches. I think I've used this book before. Um, but my goodness, there's some lovely... Lovely images. Yeah, it's a very nice book. Very, very nice book. Right, oh my goodness, this is now tricky. Right, let's just cut that off the page. And then just see. <clears throat> so this edge, just probably have to go straight up like that. Okay. And then here, oh. Like that, I think. Yeah, like that. So I'm just going to cut that bottom bottom section off. So some of this, I think, is going to have to be, again, snipped off. 
so let's just see that's quite nice from there isn't it just going to see how it is from the other side because the only thing is having it this side I'm covering up a lot of that blue which you know is quite nice I don't necessarily want to cover up so much of that I should have inked this while it was still on the page because it would have been easier okay I'm so sorry if you can hear the traffic it's really hot today so I've just got to have the window open I'm afraid <clears throat> Yeah, that does look best, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, right. So let's just see what we can have on here. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, quite like that. I have also got this hot air balloon, which just weirdly wondered whether that might look quite cute on there. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, I quite like that. That's a bit of a sort of um, fantasy type piece, isn't it? You know, looks sort of whimsical. Whimsical is the word. Not really fantasy, but whimsical. Yeah, okay. Let's have that there. Just going to have to put a line of glue here because that's not quite stuck down. Okay. I love the playing cards on this. The, you know, the element of just those playing cards on the cluttered collage. It just looks really good, doesn't it? I love the way we've just got, um, you know, kind of hints of bright red or the black, you know, in amongst our papers here. And just a really nice alternative thing to do with your playing cards, I think. So, um, yeah, I hope that you, you think they're really cute too. <clears throat> right, just move that on up a little bit. Pop this down. So the hot air balloon is from my Flights of Fancy kit. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? Just cut this down. Okay. I love how that looks. That is so cute isn't it really 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 sweet yeah i really really love it okay and then what else should we have on here um just having a look really through the things that i've got actually cut out beside me i mean we've got that label that we tried but yeah we're kind of like eating into a lot of our stuff now just got some flowers here these are from my springtime kit just leftovers that I didn't end up using when I made that little basic holiday journal so let's just cut these out and see always good to use you know little bits that are floating about isn't it really you know rather than pulling something else in I mean of course I could pull something else in but hey if you can manage to use up some other bits that are floating about on the desk then that's always a good thing I think. <clears throat> Just ink this one up slightly. Oh, that's quite nice, yeah. So I'm wondering whether we could have a word or something, possibly. Let's just see. Mm, words. I need to print some more words because I'm pretty sure I don't really have any in here. I've got two. Right, okay. Delight or journal? Oops. Let's just see how that looks. Oops. Oh! Like stuck on me with the hot glue threads. Sorry, there's now a siren going past. Honestly, it's just one noise after another, isn't it? Okay. roughly in the middle okay and then for this one 
down here to the side. And again, I just didn't really press that too hard so that hopefully it's kind of um, got a bit of a 3D thing going on. Let's just cut this out. <clears throat> okay. Okay, right, let's just give this a little bit of ink. Oh, or flick it around, one or the other. Well, that's quite cute, isn't it? Do you think up there or somewhere further down? Or maybe... Hmm, it's one of those that looks good everywhere, to be honest. I mean, the problem is, if I cover up too much of that hot air balloon, does it stop looking like a hot air balloon and just look like something strange? Yeah, I think I'm better off kind of going for it just to the side, like that. Okay, let's take that. Cut that out. Okay, so that's that one. Aren't they just absolutely gorgeous? I just think what a lovely way to incorporate your playing cards. I mean, here we've got obviously the back of the playing card. Here we've got obviously the number here, little kind of corner of the number 10. And then here we've only got a little slither, but it's just enough to kind of just add a splash of colour into this piece, isn't it? But otherwise, you know, it would perhaps be a little bit too colourless. So, um, yeah, they're just really cute. Really, really cute. Oh, let's just have a look and see. Just suddenly thought, could I fit the word journal on there? But no, I'm going to leave that. So I'm going to come back and we will clutter up what we've got left of our um, collage masterboard with the playing cards. Um, and yeah, obviously I will continue to probably hoard the other one because I just love that one so much that I can't bring myself to do anything with it whatsoever. So it'll probably be ages before we come back to do that one. But yeah, we'll definitely come back and do this one. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.